enough is enough is enough. And I believe that's what a majority of this country has been saying, has been screaming for a long time now. Enough is enough. What a crazy, sad day. A day that will go down as a dark one in the, in the long history of America. There are some dark subjects that we talk about on the show occasionally, but I've rarely been as upset as I am tonight. This was one of those days that I always assumed was behind us. This is not the sort of thing that I ever imagined would happen in this country in my lifetime. We can be shocked, but we can't be surprised. The president wanted this, he directed it, supported it, he incited it, and encouraged it. TV's late night hosts weigh in after violent riots break out at the U.S. Capitol. It has been an extraordinary day. Congressional leaders have pleaded for President Trump to call off the protesters. On Wednesday, a large gathering of pro-Trump supporters breached Capitol security and entered the building, forcing lawmakers into hiding while the joint session of Congress to ratify Joe Biden's election win was temporarily suspended. Later that evening, late night hosts Jimmy Kimmel, James Corden, Jimmy Fallon, Stephen Colbert and Seth Meyers all made special remarks, addressing the shocking events in their opening monologues, calling out President Donald Trump for inciting violence and condemning the action of the rioters. This is what happens when there is no peaceful transition of power and what happens when there is bad leadership. This is not how you lose. If my grandfather were alive today and saw what was happening in the country that he fought for, he'd be disgusted. People walking around with the flag upside down, thinking they're patriotic. Today was not patriotism. Today was terrorism. Jimmy Fallon opened up The Tonight Show assuring his viewers that we'll be okay and that the actions of the day do not reflect what America is all about. Today was a disgrace. Today was disappointing. But sadly, today was not a surprise. But it's important to remember that this is not who we are. I assure you, there are more good people than there are bad, and good will prevail. James Corden opened up on The Late Late Show about growing up in England and how he used to look to America as a beacon of light and possibility. Today, people across the world would have looked at these pictures from Washington and they would have wondered what on earth has happened to this great country. But I truly believe, and make no mistake, that they know that the America that they admire still exists. They know that the America that so many aspire to will be back. It's just been hijacked by a lunatic and his crazy army for the last four years. But that's about to end. And he encouraged his viewers to stay hopeful. And in two weeks on those same steps where that mob fought and pushed past the police, the people who encouraged and instigated that violence, Donald Trump, his children, Rudy Giuliani, they're all gonna need a tourist pass to get in because they've lost the presidency, they've lost the house, and now they've lost the Senate. Today was their last dance at the worst party any of us have ever been to. So if you can, have hope. I really do believe that there are better times ahead. And while Corden ended his message on a positive note, Stephen Colbert kicked off The Late Show, telling his fans he's rarely been as upset as he was on Wednesday. Republicans who supported this president, especially the ones in the joint session of Congress today, have you had enough? After five years of coddling this president's fascist rhetoric, guess whose followers want to burn down the Reichstag? Because today, the US Capitol was overrun for the first time since 1814, and a woman died. Who could have seen this coming? Everyone, even dummies like me. This is the most shocking, most tragic, least surprising thing I've ever seen. Jimmy Kimmel also took aim at Donald Trump for encouraging his followers to hit up the Capitol earlier in the day at a rally he held, where he claimed the 2020 presidential election had been stolen and that he was the rightful winner, despite no evidence to substantiate his repeated baseless claims. The President of the United States, because he is too angry, too insecure, and too incompetent to deal with the fact that he lost an election, a fair election, an election that was no different than any other election, an election he lost by 7 million votes and 70 electors, 
turns an angry mob against members of Congress and his own vice president, not to mention endangering the Capitol Police, those blue lives he claims matter so much to him. And Kimmel, he didn't stop there. And the wildest part is these MAGA marchers think Donald Trump cares about them. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your life or your wife or your job or your health care or the air you breathe or the water you drink. He cares about himself and only about himself. Unless you were pushing a lawnmower, he wouldn't let you into his golf club. He'd roll his limo right over you to get a Chick-fil-A sandwich. As for Seth Meyers, he put all jokes aside for the night on his show, Late Night. Pluralistic democracy is fragile and precious, and it requires our vigilant stewardship and protection. And anyone not willing to forward that project with the fullness of their effort must be shamed and disgraced and removed from office. And that must start immediately with Donald Trump. We are gonna try our best tonight to process what happened. I promise, I promise if you come back tomorrow, we will have jokes.